Hey guys, Abav here. I got a new PS3 game, so I thought we'd check it out. It looks like I'm going to have to wait about five minutes for this to install. Before we start, I wanted to mention I am recording using component cables instead of HDMI, which is my usually preferred method. But the splitter I use in order to use HDMI because of copyright protection has broke. So this isn't the exact quality that Sleeping Dogs should be in. That's some loading screen. Hold X to sprint. Good tip. Alright, so I'm hoping the uh, graphics still hold up, even though I'm using components so I can't see every detail. Maybe that's a good thing. So, I think this has a lot to do with uh, crime in Hong Kong, and there's no way I'm going to be able to commentate and read subtitles at the same time. I could have sworn I remember playing this on my friend's Xbox 360, um, it just seems like such a new game. I I could have sworn it was on on a different console generation, not PS3 and 360. I'm not sure if anything that's going on is going to be uh, something that I really need to register. <laughs> okay, basically a stupid guy blew our cover. Um, I don't know why, but we're running from the police now. just before reaching the obstacle. Well, I'm not sure how well I'm doing, but I think I'm doing okay. It feels kind of like Uncharted, like it's very well polished um, parkour, which again is why I thought this game was a PS4 game, not a PS3 game. I'm happy that the uh, we kind of got straight into gameplay. Um, do I just get shot at? No. I just tackle the guy with the M14, or not M14, M4. Oh, chickens. Oh, okay. I thought we were doing cutscenes. Can I just... I guess I can just kick open doors. Okay, see you guys. Oh my goodness. It's not running the smoothest. Um, I don't know if that's a frame rate issue or a, a motion blur. Because it doesn't look choppy necessarily. Anyways, we're arrested. Starring. I'm, I'm not even going to try. So far, all we've had is a cutscene with me meeting an old friend. <laughs> I want to kind of edit around some gameplay in this video, so I'm not going to focus too heavily on the cutscenes, especially since the quality isn't as top-notch as I would prefer. So basically, that was a long cutscene to explain that I'm an undercover cop that has been arrested quite a few times. All right. So... Yeah, the, the game looks quite blurry. Um, I assume that's just because of how I'm recording it. But the, the graphics seem decent. I really gotta find out if this was co-released with a PS4 and Xbox One um, release. Because I just, I could have sworn this game was like one of those games with extremely detailed graphics. But currently it you know, looks like a good PS3 game. Okay, our friend kind of got into a fight, and now I got to learn to fight in the middle of fighting. Square is to punch, which makes sense. Perform a heavy strike by holding square. Fair enough. And there's combos and whatnot. It's, it's familiar to Batman Arkham. Wait, what happened to you over here? How'd you fall over? Well, I won that fight. Kidding me? <laughs> what the heck? Why are there so many enemies? I know it's annoying having like a radio buddy explain everything to you in games, but have, having to read while having to read while fighting is really difficult. I assume they're just not going to attack me though. So when grappling, you can slam people into the ground, you can run them into a wall. And you can throw them, which I'm not sure why you would throw them. They're really not fighting back, though. This feels so unfair. 
All right, big guy. Grapple? Why would I grapple immediately? I'll just throw him over here. Oh, gosh. What did they do to you in America, man? That was excessive. I don't know, that felt like video game logic to me. <laughs> just fight 20 dudes. You had a, a sister, right, Hamaya? Yeah. That's, um, not the best introduction. Well, as introductions to scary people go, it went okay. A lot of loading screens. I have... I'm really interested. Oh, triangle the counter. Okay. I have to focus so much on fighting, I forget what I'm talking about. So basically, I'm just wondering if this game co-released with a PS4 release, or if this is the original, because I thought it was. But it just kind of feels like it's it's pushing its limits. And I can't grapple at all. It's really annoying. I guess I'll just fight these guys properly. Because grappling is making things difficult. <laughs> I wanna send a fucking message. I I keep waiting for this game to become open world, but it it hasn't happened yet. So I guess occasionally you can uh, get soda to level up. Oh gosh, so much information to take in while also trying to think about recording. I also seem to struggle with walking straight. I don't know if that's a controller issue or a game issue. I should also uh, clarify that I haven't updated the game. Um, because I just wanted to get into it as quick as possible. I'm not afraid you guys. Why? <laughs> that was fast. So I'll leave a um, a comment in my description as to whether this game feels better when I play it through HDMI. How often are we going to have to get into a fight? Jeez. If you press triangle too early, it also doesn't work. So it's like... Very easy to get mixed up. What does L2 do? I can't focus on tutorials. They're like, press, press L2 to focus on fighting, but I can't focus on fighting while pressing random buttons. Is that how do I focus? Oh, it just, it kind of locks onto enemies. Oh my gosh, you're getting me killed tutorial. Just, just beat him up. Sup, I want money. I feel like this is a waste of money, but if we get into another fight, I'll be screwed. What's going on over here? Why randomly attack people? This game has a lot more combat than I thought there was going to be. Okay, that was close. Why was he beating you? He was demanding 20 times the normal payment. Maybe he has a drug habit or something. For a small fee, Winston will make sure you don't have trouble with gangsters. That sounds very reasonable. A fair transaction, I suppose. I guess this is a slight tutorial on how the market works. When the camera's zoomed out like this, controlling everything's fine. When it goes really close in, it's kind of like this. It's kind of annoying. Are they not going to give me the money for this? Oh, it looks like I did get more money. I don't know how. Well, I hope I did the right thing. That's cool how the clothes change your stats. That doesn't happen very often in these kind of games. I'm watching you, new guy. You fuck up? What? We're gonna throw down? Jackie! You're coming with me. Okay. That's strange. I I'm fine with doing favors, but I kind of want to explore the open world. <laughs> why, why is the rival gang getting involved in me delivering lunch money? Why are there so many people? <laughs> How do people live here? Alright, I finally made it out of the market. Is that the rival gang? Yeah, they're just gonna fight me for no reason. Look out, he's paying for someone's lunch. Oh no. Let me grab you, and I'm just gonna ram into everybody and everything. Oh gosh, he's, he's getting free. You are not allowed to break free of my grab. You go in a phone booth. Who else wants a phone booth? Here, we're going this way. And just beat people with a purse. I don't know how that's any better than my 
fists. I am very impressed by, like, YouTubers who play games like this and do commentary as they're fighting. Ugh, is I start doing awful when I start talking. Okay, I think that's it. Also, there's just someone talking over here. What do you want? Okay, whatever. Here. I just told you needed some money. Look at me, I pay for lunches. Alright, can I now, like, explore this world? Is this game not open world? Mission failed, you left the market. I thought the mission was over. Right now, I need someone to take care of me. Th this writing is really confusing me. <laughs> Mad at me, he told my friend about what's going on, and then he sends me to do it? And we're back into the crowded alleyways. So this guy, he just sees me and takes off, which ki kind of shows that he's guilty of something. Oh my gosh. What did I think was going to happen? <laughs> this reminds me of that chase scene that you can fail horribly at in Heavy Rain. Ow. Get out of my way. Uh, finally, there's less people I can uh, focus on. Running. Well, that was some riding there. <laughs> Kill him, he needs to be killed. The combat isn't too bad when you're not focusing on talking like what I just did. <laughs> I threw someone in a trash can and gave me a trophy. Oh. I don't like that. Don't you guys think that's a bit excessive? How many enemies are just on our territory? Oh. Whoops. What button is throw again? Oh, was, I think it was R2. Let's throw you this way. See what happens. Okay, fine. I guess you're not going over there. Oof. I'm just going to keep countering you because that knife is freaking me out. Gosh, I hate... I, I hate knife fighting. Please stop. Give up. Give... Okay. <laughs> Man, that was so fast. <laughs> Immediate arrest. And surprise, surprise, we got bailed out. Because we're an undercover cop. And now finally, we completed the mission. There's going to be an upgrades tutorial, I think. Oh, we have an apartment. So here's the map, a decent size. <laughs> All right, it kind of reminds me of a uh, cyberpunk in a way. Oh, I have a motorcycle? I do. I hope that doesn't mean though, like if it explodes, I have to pay to get back. Oh, I can text and drive, that's fantastic. I'm just trying to figure out how to turn off the radio. All right, finally, let's go see this world. I think those are not that wasn't a ramp, was it? Yeah, it does feel like cyberpunk in a way. Very uh, blurry, but that's expected <laughs> as a PS3 game. Um, can't render too far into the distance. It runs really well, though. This is some smooth, uh, smooth driving mechanics. Do they drive on the wrong side of the road in <laughs> uh, Hong Kong? This isn't really where I wanted to go, though. Um, I kind of want to go go to this little yellow man on my uh, attack map. How do I get off? Triangle? Yes. What's up? All right, I'm being paid to take photos of the town. Don't know why, but that's a good way of showing me around the town. I gotta remember. Left lane, not right lane. Left lane. It, it, the confusing thing about left-hand drive areas is, like, turning left is the equivalent of turning right. You can't turn right on red in left-hand drive. So how do I take photos? Well, anyways, let's let's go up the stairs. Pretty sure you're not supposed to just run up these without a care in the world. <laughs> Hold L2. Oh wait, that's focus. 
open phone and hold L2. Okay, that's cool. But what's like the aesthetic? Oh, the like shrine in here? Sure. You know, I was so full of energy with this video start, and I'm like, I'm gonna make a silly, like, crazy moments of this game, but now I'm just doing what I always do, which is just kind of wander around and uh, see what the game has to offer. <laughs> I've just been so busy lately, it's so hard for me to, like, think of a proper time to record. Oh my gosh. Again. Left hand drive. I'm actually kind of impressed with how well this is running. Um, I'm starting to believe it was made for this console generation again. <laughs> now that the world has finally opened up. Maybe it was cross platform release, but I could have sworn this came out like a year before the PS4 and Xbox One came out. And I think it's the Xbox One. It's really hard to keep keep up to date on what Xbox is naming their consoles. <laughs> Did I wait here for the sunset on purpose? I guess so. <laughs> that wasn't my intent. That just doesn't seem... I want it to be aesthetic, you know? Like, this looks a bit better than just that. <laughs> Maybe I can, like, get a lens flare in there. Oh, that's it? Or are these just enemies? No, I just wanted to see what's with these flashing briefcases. Leave me alone. <sighs> Fine. Do you want to go over the railing? Or into the railing, even better. I didn't want to do it. They wouldn't leave me alone. Can I see what's in these blue... Yes, I can. Dang it, there was one of those in the, the market. There were $5,000 in that? Hong Kong dollars? Well then, um... That was my first look at Sleeping Dogs, I think is the name of the game. Uh, this came out many years ago, but it still feels like a new game. And I wanted it because I just have memories of it being a new game, really. It seemed like one of the last big PS3 games. If it came out on PS3, I could have sworn it came out on PS4. But it was a pretty big game at the time. I didn't get it at first because I thought it would be uh, too violent for my queasy tummy, but at least the PS3 version seems alright. I feel like you can't get away with as much on the PS3 uh, graphically, so it's not as detailed as some PS4 games can get. But you know, the graphics are, are pretty dang good for a, a big open world game. It's always hard to do good graphics when the game is this big. So uh, that's my first impressions, I guess, and it's all I can really do cram into my recording schedule. I'll try to get uh, more content out to you guys in the future, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Wait, what? Okay, evacuating. I hope there's no side missions I should have been paying attention to. Um, um, oh, there we go. Turn that on, and let's get out of here.